Hi, this is Mark Harrison with a preview of our Pop Piano Book video instruction series, Chapter 4. Our Pop Piano Book keyboard method is used by many thousands of musicians around the world, and we've now created a 65 minute video lesson accompanying Chapter 4, which deals with triad inversions and voice leading. In here, we also give you extensive fingering guidance for the Chapter 4 exercises. Let's check out some excerpts from this video lesson. Our first excerpt focuses on first inversion major triads, then uses them in an R&B pop groove. So looking again at this C major triad in first inversion, let's take a closer look at the interval characteristics. On the top, we have a fourth interval, that's G up to C. On the bottom, we have a smaller third interval, that's E up to G. So as for all first inversion triads, we have a larger interval on the top than on the bottom. Next, we'll try a busier R&B pop example using all of the first inversion triads in the first measure of figure 4.5. I'm gonna move from a C triad, and then to E flat, and then to F, back down to E flat, back to C, down to B flat, and finally back up to C again. In my left hand, I was playing some simple root notes corresponding to those right hand triads, respectively. So let's have a shot of this one. Here we go. Next, we look at second inversion major triads and apply them to a funk comping pattern. So in figure 4.6, we start with a C major triad in second inversion. Notice now we have a larger interval on the bottom, that G to C is a fourth interval, and then a smaller third interval on the top, C to E. All second inversion triads will have a larger interval on the bottom than on the top. Now let's try a busier example using some other second inversion triads. E major, G major, a major, then back to G, then back to E again. All those are in second inversion. They're all found in the third measure of figure 4.6. This time, let's put all of those over an E in the bass. Next, we'll use some inverted minor triads when playing a blues shuffle groove. Next, I'm going to improvise a style example using first and second inversion minor triads. First, I'll use A minor, A flat minor, and G minor triads in first inversion from figure 4.8. They're found in the second and third measures. So we'd have A minor, first inversion, A flat minor, first inversion, then G minor, first inversion. I could also play all those in second inversion they would all come from the corresponding measures in figure 4.9. Here's A minor, second inversion, A flat minor, second inversion, G minor, second inversion. I could then use those three minor triads in a blue shuffle groove over C in the bass. Let's try that. Here we go. Next, we'll use voice leading to move between major triads in a circle of fifths and circle of fourths sequence in an R&B pop style. So with that hand position, we can quite easily move back and forward between the first three triads there in figure 413, namely C to F to B flat, and then if we wanted to, moving back through F to C again, that's a little taste of a circle of fourths movement that we'll see shortly over the page. That type of circle of fifths and circle of fourths triad movement is very common in the contemporary styles. So next I'll improvise an R&B pop groove using that chord sequence and hand position that we've just seen, namely from C major in root position, F major second inversion, B flat first inversion, then back again through the F, and then back to the C there. Let's give it a shot, here we go.
Finally, in this preview, we'll voice lead between minor triads and a circle of fourth sequence when playing arpeggios in a 12-8 time pattern. Let's now look at the first four minor triads shown in figure 422. We have C minor, root position, G minor, first inversion, D minor, second inversion, and to A minor in root position and so on. Again, we see that the common tones between triads and the sequence of inversions used are the same as for the equivalent major triad exercise in figure 416. Next, I'll improvise an arpeggiated 12-8 time pop rock piano pattern based on these triads as follows. The complete video lesson covers all of the Chapter 4 content in depth, including inversions of major and minor triads, inverting triads below top notes, and voice leading between all major and minor triads around the circle of fifths and circle of fourths. For the best results, we recommend using this video lesson together with the Pop Piano Book. You can order the Pop Piano Book and the video instruction series from our website at harrisonmusic.com. I hope you enjoy our Chapter 4 lesson and good luck with your music.